Thomas Edison's quest for light eventually gave us the oscillator through Lee DeForest's audion feedback circuit. But if we take a step back, we get the device that led to the synthesizer amplifier, the audion tube. Now the audion was a tube that would amplify weak electrical signals. That is necessary within the synthesizer, as it is for all electronic or electric musical instruments. While the amplifier isn't the most exciting part of the synthesizer, it is one of the most important parts of synthesis, having the ability to control volume. Many synthesizers lack any control at all for the amplifier except for the envelope. But don't let this omission fool you, the amp plays an important role. In front of us, we have the Yamaha CS15. Now the CS15 is special because it has an amplifier section, unlike so many other synthesizers. This amplifier section has a lot of functionality that demonstrates what the amplifier is actually doing. Let's start off with EG depth. Now the EG depth is the envelope generator depth meaning how much is the envelope affecting the amplifier. Right now we have it at zero. I'm gonna press a key and you'll see a light go on over here over the envelopes that tells you I'm pressing a key. Um, I'm gonna press a key. Okay, we're not hearing anything. That's because the <laughs> EG depth is at zero. But if we turn it all the way up, then the envelope that we have it set to will completely control the amplitude of the amp. Okay, we have it set to EG2, and this is EG2 down here. So what if we set this envelope to? Over time, the amplifier will open and close according to what the envelope states. So usually, if we were just testing this out, I'd have the sustain all the way up, and then we have an immediate attack and immediate stomp of sound when the key is let go of. Now, interestingly enough, we can see that this designates trigger because I'm holding the key down, but the light only blinks. When the light blinks, that is designating the trigger while the key is being held and the envelope is still open according to the sustain, that's the gate we're hearing. So the envelope and uh, the trigger is sent from the keys to tell the envelope to go and the envelope then goes according to what the gate is telling it to do. And the envelope then, through voltage, is controlling the volume of the amp. So then, of course, we can adjust this envelope so that the amplifier follows the instructions of the envelope as far as volume is concerned. So you can hear me, um, you can probably hear me pressing and releasing. Uh, the envelope is, uh, has a slow attack, has a high decay, sustain, and then, you know, release, as we have covered in the envelope section. So you can see what is happening, and that's what's happening to the uh, amplifier according to the EG depth setting. Now, of course, we can diminish this. And then that envelope will have a less amplitude effect on the amp. As it gets louder, basically the amplitude <laughs> of the envelope is increasing and it's affecting the amplitude or volume of the sound. Okay, so that is normally all the VCA does in your average analog synthesizer.